And I think it's I telling speak. that you, I, I think it's telling that you got plans for pronouns and you got plans for misinformation. But when it comes to the plan to remove the people that have had due process, you don't have one at all. How did it feel to you when you went to the border and the border patrol agents turned their back on you? Uh, one uh, border patrol agent uh, turned his back on me, and I addressed that as uh, was only the, leader, one. the leader of the Department of Homeland Security. So if I can return to data, because I want to um, we make see sure that you have accurate information. Everyone knows that you have more people coming in than ever, and you're removing fewer people than ever, and it's because you have no plan and because it's on purpose. See, I don't buy the theory that you don't know how to do this. I think you're actually a highly competent dude. But the reality is you, your plan is to bring these people in and to send the message to the smugglers and the criminals that they will never have to leave. If one has a finite uh, amount of resources and one has a finite number of hours and one has a choice of removing 20 shoplifters or three um, uh, fugitive armed bank robbers, how would you spend your time? Well, I know how you've spent yours. I know how you've spent yours by by decreasing by 48 percent the number of criminals you arrest by uh, deporting 63 percent fewer convicted criminals. You have the lowest deportation rate in the history of the department, right? Your data that you cite is misleading. You have no plan to remove them. You don't know how many ICE agents it would take, and you don't know how much money it would take because you actually don't want to remove them. Oh. That's why you issued the September 30th guidance that says, well, you know, if you haven't committed a crime and you just came to our country illegally, we're not going to remove you. And when I ask you what the plan is, you say, oh, well, resources, I got to make finite decisions. I go back to my first question. How many ICE agents to remove the 1.2 million? Um, Congressman, I'd be pleased to provide you with a resourcing uh, data subsequent to this hearing, if I may. And I think it's I telling speak. that you, I, I think it's if, telling that you got plans for pronouns and you got plans for misinformation. But when it comes to the plan to remove the people that have had due process, you don't have one at all. Now, 800,000 people have encountered your CBP agents, and those folks have been released into the country. Like, some of those people are going to commit crimes, aren't they? Uh, Congressman, uh, may I have a moment to uh, answer I, I, your questions? Will some uh, of the 800,000 commit crimes, yes or no? Uh, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. And so the Americans who are the victims of the crimes for the people that you release in the country are collateral damage that you are willing to accept in order to have our border function as a turnstile. And you're willing to accept that collateral damage. Congressman, I couldn't disagree with you more.